Hey guys, welcome back to Funny Pet Videos. Today we'll be looking at two types of dog breeds, the Shiba Inu and Akita. We'll be doing a side-by-side -side comparison, looking at their physical characteristics, personality, training, and general care to keep them happy and smiling. Let's begin by looking at the Shiba Inu. The Shiba Inu is a compact dog standing at around 13 to 16 inches tall and weighing about 17 to 23 pounds. The Shiba Inu possesses typical traits of dogs of northern origin, such as small, erect ears, powerful body, thick fur, and curled tail. It has a moderately compact and slightly long body, and a good-natured, bold, and spirited <laughs> expression. The dog moves with effortless and smooth strides, and its gait is agile, light, and quick. Its double coat comprises a straight, strong outer coat and a soft undercoat, providing good insulation. The Shiba Inu's natural color is reddish brown on top, with cream markings underneath. However, the Shiba Inu comes in many other shades too, including black sesame, sesame, red, black and tan, and cream. Akitas are larger at 24 to 28 inches and weigh 70 to 130 pounds. Akita dogs possess heavy bones and a body that is big and a bit longer than it is tall. They are very strong, enabling them to hunt easily through snow and other rough terrains. The breed is energetic with an alert gait. An excellent hunting companion, the Akita yeah. possesses a strong guarding instinct and a coat that is weatherproof and protects them from harsh okay. conditions. Its hair, which is about two inches long, has a straight, dense inner layer, but a harsh outer wrapping. The color of its huh? coat, meanwhile, are various, including white, brindle, or pinto. Shibas are bold, spirited, energetic, dignified, and beautiful dogs. They exhibit independent nature, and sometimes they turn aggressive. Though they are independent, under consistent training they can become a good-tempered pet. They are very loyal and affectionate with the people they believe, and a little wary about strangers. They are easy housebreaking pets. They are not suitable pets for small children or houses with existing pets. They're a little possessive about their belongings, and they're very particular about cleanliness. They are natural hunters and have the natural hunting instinct in them. They're good watchdogs and can also make good companion dogs. The Akita is happy to be an only dog and can be aggressive toward other dogs not in his family group. Properly socialized, they can learn to tolerate other animals. They're loyal and affectionate towards their family and friends, but quite territorial about their home and aloof with strangers. They're excellent watchdogs and will only bark when there is truly something amiss. The large size of the Akita can make them difficult to control, and so they're not suitable for everyone. Considered highly trainable and easier to housebreak, you won't find many troubles with the Shiba Inu. It can be stubborn at times because of its confidence and strong instincts, but if you demonstrate that you're the pack leader, there should be no problems keeping your dog on a strict, disciplined program. Akitas are very willful and sometimes obstinate. Because they're strong-willed and quite independent, they're not the easiest dogs to train. They have extreme strength and endurance and need dedicated training to help them properly channel energy. Being an intelligent breed, however, the Akita can easily become bored with training. He thrives when challenged and given something to do. Most Shibas are fairly energetic and love to go for walks. They're not so hyper that they'll climb the walls if they don't get daily exercise. But a Shiba owner should be dedicated to exercising the dog, especially if the dog doesn't have an adequate yard in which to exercise. It's been said that they shed twice a year, but some owners quip that it lasts for six months at a time. Brushing and combing during periods of heavy shedding will reduce the amount of hair around the house. The Akita is generally not a highly active breed, but does require moderate exercise. A jog or brisk walk around the block at least once a day can meet the needs of most individuals of the breed. Although they're large dogs, with sufficient daily exercise, Akitas can do well in a relatively small home. Akitas tend to be a very clean breed. They don't require extensive grooming, but their thick, luxurious double coat should be brushed at least once a week to look its best. Although Akitas shed only minimally most of the time, expect their dense undercoat to blow twice a year where it'll shed so profusely that it comes out in clumps all over your house. Both breeds can make great companions, but be wary of their stubbornness, <laughs> as that can have an impact on your training. Make sure you're giving them enough exercise and keeping up with their grooming. Hey. 
Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe if you want to watch more of these videos. And let us know in the comments what you would choose and what breeds you would like to see next.